With this housing shortage crisis we're dealing with in this country today, some may have to resort to buying a foreclosed home. And it's not the easiest thing to do, but it is possible. This week, I'm sharing with you three websites where you can search for foreclosed homes and it will hopefully to achieve that dream of home ownership. So let's get started. Now, as I've said before, buying a foreclosed home is not for everyone. It can be very challenging, but in the end, it could save you a lot of money. For those people who are struggling to afford a home right now, this may be your only option. So let's get into some of these sites. I'm going to share with you one free site and two subscription based sites. Listen, I know we don't want to spend money, but I think it may be worth your money to invest into a monthly subscription into these foreclosure websites if you were that serious about buying a foreclosed home. So let's get into the first site right now. The first site I have is auction.com. I'm sure you've all heard of this site. Now, auction.com is exactly what it says, auction.com. These are only homes, foreclosed homes that are up for auction. So you're going to be bidding on these properties. Now keep in mind auction.com, not all of the auctions are run by auction.com, meaning that these foreclosure auctions are still run by the county where the home is located in. So when you look at these homes online, you'll be able to tell whether or not a home is actually run by auction.com or it is run by the county itself. I want to share with you a few examples of what to look for when you're on auction.com. The first home I have here, this is a bank owned property. It's a condominium located in Florida. The things you want to look at, you want to see, is it vacant? Yes, it's vacant. And it says, although the property is vacant, do not enter unless access is available. So this does appear to be listed by an agent, by a listing agent. So you could contact that agent to find out about getting access to that property. The thing with a lot of these homes that are on this website on auction.com, you will not get access to preview the property prior to making a bid on it. I'll get into that in a little bit. So in this home here, it is vacant. It also has a section here talking about title and liens. You really have to do your homework before you make a bid on these properties. Now with title and liens, what does this mean? This says here, most liens are removed after a foreclosure property sale. However, some may remain. Let's look at the list here of what types of liens can remain after the foreclosure sale. Any lien recorded on title prior in time to the foreclosing mortgage, the first mortgage. If the foreclosing mortgage is a second or third mortgage, so you know, say how some people will take multiple mortgages out on their home. So if the first mortgage isn't being foreclosed on, they still have to pay that off. Okay, you could end up paying off the first mortgage on home, meaning that the foreclosure could be happening on the second or third mortgage that's on that house, right? So that first mortgage isn't going to be dealt with. You could be responsible for paying that. No joke. There could be HOA liens. Now, any condominium, townhome communities, or you know, home communities where there's an HOA, HOA may have liens against the property because the people did not pay their monthly HOA fee. So you therefore could be responsible for paying that off. There's also mechanics liens, meaning that any work done by contractors, you know, such as a general contractor, HVAC, plumber, electrician, if they were never paid for the services they provided, they could put what's called the mechanics lien on the home. And that's in some states, not in every state. So again, do your homework. There could also be government liens. There could be IRS liens and it could be code enforcement liens. So do your homework. You can check with the county records to see what liens are on that property. Now, this property here, it says it's eligible for financing, meaning that you can use a mortgage to buy this foreclosure. So that's a good thing because most of these homes, they are saying you're going to need cash to buy the home. It also says here a buyer's premium. What does that mean? Well, this is listed by a listing agent, a, a local real estate broker. So the winner of the home is also going to have another 5% or $2,500 tacked on top of the purchase price, what they're paying, because they have to pay the real estate broker on that home. Here's an example of another home that is actually taking place as we speak, as I'm recording this video, and the current bid is $105,000. Now, this home is vacant. It does say you have interior access to the home, but it's cash only, okay? So this is a good thing. You can have access to the home. You can go see the inside, see if, make sure everything is good. You don't need to make any major upgrades to the home or make any major repairs, but they are looking for cash only. 
right? So be careful with that. So make sure that you read the fine print. You're not, don't assume you're going to get, be able to get a mortgage on this one. Make sure that this is, you can see whether or not it is financing available or if it's cash only. And again, on this home, it's buyer's premium again, 5% or $2,500. That fee is going to be tacked on the total of the sale because of you have to pay the real estate agent. Now, this one is important. I want to share with you this one that's up for auction. It says it's occupied. You do not disturb the occupants. So you cannot go in and look at this home before you put a bid on it. It's cash only. It is not conducted by auction.com. This is conducted by a third party by at a county location. So you can see here, this is by Lee County clerk of the court. Here's a key thing you have to pay attention to. Cleared for auction, not yet. What does that mean? All right, even though this is scheduled for Wednesday, July 19th, there's a very possibility this thing is going to get canceled. Why? Because the homeowners are currently working out some type of payment modification with the bank. So if they make a payment prior to July 19th at 9 a.m., the auction therefore will be canceled because they did make a payment on the mortgage. So be careful of those. You may see a home and love it, like I want to buy that, but only to find out the homeowners did make payments and it's no longer up for auction. So pay attention to that. Overall auction.com, it is free. It is a good site to use, but again, it's all auctions. So if you are up for that, you want to take your chances on bidding on homes that you can't get into because you're going to see a lot of those on this site. It could be worth your while, but Again, do your due diligence, do all your homework on these properties because you could end up paying a heck of a lot more money and it may not be worth it at all. So just be aware. So as I said, there are subscription-based sites where you can find foreclosed homes. One of those is called realtytrack.com. Realtytrack.com will charge you about $50 a month and it's a database of all homes, foreclosed homes, pre-foreclosures in the entire United States. So they have a huge database where you can find these homes. Realty track is really for people who are looking to invest and are looking to flip or make a home into a, a rental home. This is a good resource for you at 50 bucks a month. It may be worth it for you to, to sign up for this. What's nice about this, it does help you with making the right investment decisions on which house to buy. They have calculators on this site that'll help you figure out what property is going to give you the highest return on your investment. So that's a nice feature about realtytrack.com. If you are even trying to buy a home to live in, you could still use this site for sure, but more ideal for the savvy investors. So if you're looking to invest in real estate, realtytrack.com, it would be the best option for you. Now, the last website I'm going to get into, it's probably the most popular and it's actually been highly rated as far as subscription-based websites go. It's foreclosure.com. Foreclosure.com, again, provides a huge database of homes that are in foreclosure, pre-foreclosure, before they hit the market. This is key, before they get on the market. So you're bypassing all these other buyers for who wanna buy these homes that are out on MLS and on the open market. So foreclosure.com is definitely the way to go. What's great at foreclosure.com, it is subscription-based, it's $39.99 per month. And if you're serious about buying a home, I'm sorry, I think you know, paying for a subscription service might be worth the investment to save you a lot of money in the end when you buy your home. The good news for you is if you click the link below in the description box, you can get a free trial to check this website out to see if it is worth it for you to subscribe to this. So definitely check that out. Click that link, get a trial going and see how that works for you. See if it's something that you would like to try. Again, they have a database nationwide of homes that are in foreclosure, pre-foreclosure, and this could be the way you can find your next home. And this is especially for people who are not just looking to invest and make it a, a flip or turn it into a rental. They want to live in the home. This is definitely a good site for you to consider to find a more affordable home and to beat the other buyers out because these homes are coming on before they even hit the market. Now, a quick word about pre-foreclosures. You're going to see on these sites, they will show you pre-foreclosures. Be careful with pre-foreclosures. Those homes are not for sale. The reason they show up as a pre-foreclosure is when a homeowner misses a mortgage payment, it is documented in the town and county tax records. And you will see on the tax records, it'll say Liz Pendens, meaning legal action is now being taken against that homeowner because they have missed mortgage payments. Does not mean it's for sale. It's in the beginning stages, very early stages of the foreclosure process. But that doesn't mean that it's definitely going to foreclose. Could those people, like I 
said before, with the auction potentially being canceled, you got to be careful with that because the homeowners could be trying to figure out a way to work with the bank to make those mortgage payments up. Now, what I've heard people do when they see pre foreclosures is they will try to approach the homeowner and say, hey, you know, I see you're in trouble here. You know, to avoid foreclosure, I'll buy the house from you. It can be done. But I would word of warning, it's very emotional for homeowners. So be careful if you're going to approach somebody and say, I see you're approaching foreclosure. I want to buy your house. Some people may not like to hear that. You could really upset somebody and they're never going to want to deal with you. So just be aware of that. And don't always assume a pre-foreclosure is for sale because it is not. So don't forget on foreclosure.com, click that link below. You can get your free trial. And I have said before that foreclosures are not for everybody. So I have a video right over here that tells you why I think you should not buy a foreclosed home if you are a first time buyer. And this is just, you know, I'm giving you facts. I'm giving you information to help educate you to make the best decision on your next home purchase. Thank you so much for watching me today. My name is Jackie Baker and I will see you next time.